guys, today's video is going to be a hijab tutorial on this look right here And this look is my Eid hijab tutorial for 2013 I don't, I don't even know But yeah, this is my Eid style It's slightly turban-y as you guys can see Then it's got this cool little flowy bit And then it's got some coverage here And um, yeah, it's also got a little bit of a fancy fancy decoration on the forehead Which is optional of course And I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do like an Eid lookbook video But I've already done a prom lookbook video And I've done like an event wear lookbook video And I've done like a party lookbook video And all of those outfits are essentially what I'd generally wear to eat anyway so I'll link all of those in the description bar below so you guys can check those out and to be honest I haven't really bought that many fancy outfits or you know Eid-ish kind of clothing this year so I can't really make another look for you guys I do have two outfits but those are my actual Eid outfits and I don't want to show them to you yet because I'm going to do an Eid get ready with me video for those two days I think or maybe just the first day I don't know I'll see because you guys did want to see a get ready with me video so I thought why not do one on Eid so I can show you my Eid outfit and show you how I get ready because that's what you guys want so yeah that's kind of why I'm not doing an Eid lookbook video hopefully next year I probably will be doing an Eid lookbook video because I would have had more outfits by then but now I've only got two new outfits and you guys have seen everything else so no really no really point of doing that um anyway <laughs> this is the hijab style that I'm doing today it is my Eidish look like I said before and I most likely will be wearing this on Eid on the first day to match my first outfit which you guys haven't seen yet but I'm so excited about I have no idea what accent that was um but yeah anyway if you guys would like to know how I do this hijab style then keep watching and I'll go over things you need. Okay, so for this job, you'll need an underscore for a bonnet cap just to keep everything nice and in place. And you want to make sure you have no volume at the back because we're going for the nice, sleek, sexy egg look today. Well, actually, if you do have volume at the back, it just sort of makes it more complicated later on. It just makes it look really big and bulky, which is what not really what we want to go for. But if you guys do want to have a little bit of volume at the back, go for it. It's just, I personally think it looks weird, which is why I suggest you guys do not do that. But yeah, totally up to you. I just think it looks a little weird, so that's the sexy egg look today and then you also need one rectangle big hijab so I've got this one right here mine's a viscose one but you can get them in like whatever material you want so if you want a pashmina a silk scarf um, a Georgia one you can go for it so long as it is big and rectangle that is all that matters then you'll also need a smaller rectangle scarf I've just got this small little black one that I got free within a buyer because the buyers always tend to come with these tiny little scarves so yeah it's just a smaller one the length is still the same like the other one but it's the width that is really small basically you just need a small rectangle scarf and it, it can be any material any color any design any anything so as you guys can see my style today is black on black which is pretty much my everyday style for hijabs but yeah if you guys want like a printed scarf with a plain scarf a bedazzly scarf with a bedazzly scarf a blue scarf with a red scarf go for it I just like doing black on black because that's what I prefer doing and then you'll also need six straight hijab pins one safety pin if you guys do want to use a regular one you can i'm just using those super safety ones from al medina hijabs because they just don't create um, holes in your scarf and you also need some head decor some decorations for your head so i've got two ticklies ticklies or tickers whatever you guys want to call them and i've also got an earring because if you guys don't have these you can also use earrings so i've just got that It'll look like this and if you guys want to use head pieces brooches earrings just you can use whatever you want so long as it fits onto your scarf that's fine so yeah these are just some suggestions that i have once you've got all that we shall begin okay so you're gonna start with your own scarf and then you're gonna pop on your big rectangle hijab like that and if it is a maxi hijab i suggest folding it in half just so it's easier to manage because that's what I've done with mine. And then you're gonna have one short side and one long side. Well, God, I just covered, your, covered the lens. So now we're gonna get it and pop it under the chin like so. And we're gonna pin it in place. And now what we're gonna do is basically my everyday hijab style, just a more flat version of it. So pin that under the chin. Voila, like that. And then you wanna get your short side and you just wanna bring it over like so and you want to make sure it's as flat as possible and make sure you do it from the middle not from the front or else things will just get complicated so like that so flatten it and then you want to get your long side and you want to bring that over like so once again try and flatten it so it's just smaller and then get straight hijab pin and pin all of this stuff down and you want to get another one and pin these two pieces down like so so, mm -hmm, liking. Right, once you've done that, we want to get your smaller little scarf and we want to place it on the head. Like so. And you want to make sure it's equal on both sides. So, on the head and then both sides equal. Like that. Once you've got it on your head, you want to grab this side. So, it's the side where you've got like the long piece underneath. So, long piece, and I'm grabbing this. 
and you just want to sort of bring it up and bring it oh god tuck it in and bring it around like that you can go totally straight if you want to but i'm doing mine from a slight angle because i like to be artistic like that right so just shimmy shimmy bring it around like that and you just want to tuck it in at the top just flatten those things out so tuck it in at the top here and once you've done that, you just want to get a straight pin and you want to pin that piece down so it doesn't, you know, come out and attack someone in the middle of the night if you are wearing this at the night. Um, but yeah, pin that down. And then you want to pin this side and this side as well. So we don't have any more freaky scarf incidents. Scarf's attacking humans. No, that'll be like the next alien movie. Scarf's attacking humans. Ah, rise of the hijabs. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Right, and then you want to put one more on this side. And then you want to grab the long part from underneath. So, you know, this is our underscarf and this is the long side. And you just want to bring that around like that. And you just want to put it under all of this stuff, really. Just sort of drop it there. And if you guys do want to pin it in place, you can. But to be honest, it just, it just sort of stays. So you don't really need to pin it in place. Um, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tug and a pull and a little bit of a zhuzh. Right, and we are almost done with this look. If you do want to add more zhuzh to this part, just grab it and like pin it there so we've got a little bit of a, a, a little waterfall, waterfall. But I'm just gonna leave mine out because I kind of like having this whole whew, alluring thing out there. Uh, it's probably not the right word I use. But um, yeah, once you've done that, if you do want to add some more zhuzhing up, then just add like a headpiece or something. So, headpiece, headpiece, headpiece like that and I'm just gonna pin that in place and you know you can pick whichever one you suit so if you don't like this one you know you could go for a fatter one like so and if you don't even have headpieces you can just go for a general earring which is what I've got here and there you go oh wait wait I like that very nice isn't it lovely so yeah that is basically this whole hijab gel I'm just gonna pop this one on I think this one suits the most. And yeah, if you don't even want a headpiece, you know, you can just wear like, you know, those like bindies and little stickers all over your forehead. I tend to do that sometimes when I'm having fun. And yeah, guys, that's the whole job style. If you guys do try and style out, then make sure you take a picture and send it to me in some way, either Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, that was the other one. And yeah, I'll have all my links in the description well below so you guys can find me on those. And yeah, I'd love to see if, uh, what you guys are wearing for Eid and how you're styling your hijab on need. So make sure you tag me in those pictures so I can check them out. So yeah, guys, that's the whole hijab show. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it's helped you guys. And yeah, until next time, bye.